All right, today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little thing called press the button. Um, from what I recall here, I think I've seen the Game Grumps do this sort of thing before with a group, but me, I'm flying solo. With all that said, let's uh, let's begin. I'm gonna do about 20 of these here, so let's get started. The first one is all food, excuse me, all food tastes twice as good to you, but you're permanently constipated. Um, I don't know. Two things you may not know about me. One, I'm a very picky eater. And second of all here, I have very, uh, I'm a, like I said, I'm a picky eater and I tend to be very cautious about what I eat. So no, no, I'm not going to press that button. It looks like 72% of the population, uh, or 72% of the voters agreed. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, I don't want to be constipated for the rest of my life either. Just wouldn't be worth it. Anyways, number two, you meet Bill Murray and share an odd moment with, worth a good short story, but no one will ever believe you. Yeah, this one's an easy one here. Nope. Huh, it looks like 61% of the people said they would love to meet Bill Murray and share an odd moment worth a good short story. I mean, Bill Murray, I mean, Bill Murray did a good job in a, in the, in a Ghostbusters, but I don't. I know, I think it was in Groundhog Day 2, but I've, I haven't seen that movie. I mean, I don't remember. Anyways, let's move on to the next one here. You have the ability to see into the future, but there's nothing you can do to alter the future. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds, this sounds awfully familiar. I mean, wasn't there a, I think there was a movie based on this, but I don't remember because something about this sounds familiar. Anyways. I have the ability to see into the future, but there's nothing I can do to alter it. Um, ah, uh, hmm. I'm not sure if I want to do that sort of thing here, so, no. Huh. 64% of the uh, population said they would love to have that kind of ability, but 36% said they wouldn't. And I chose not to, so, next. All right, you have unlimited amounts of money, but you can never have sex again. Huh. I mean, the ability to love is uh, an important aspect for all people here, but at the same time, have unlimited amounts of money. So if something goes wrong, at least, uh, well, at least, uh, at least you can have the resources to uh, do whatever you like with it. Me, if I had unlimited amounts of money, I just put it away. So yeah, I'm pressing that button. <laughs> this one's split 50-50. All right, next. You get free Apple products for life, but you can never use another brand of technology. Um, I'll be honest, I was never big with Apple. I mean, I've used Apple products before in the past. In fact, when I was in uh, when I was in college, we used uh, Apple. Most of the uh, graphic design computers were indeed Macs, but I just can't see myself get used getting used to it. So. So yeah, like I said, I'm not a big Apple person, so I'm gonna say no on this one. 57% uh, actually would agree and did not press the button. All right, anyways, you will receive three wishes, but three people close to you will die. Waste the wishes, bringing them back, or ignore and let your wildest fantasies come to life. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, so basically you just have to rub a genie lamp and uh, he'll gr just grant you three wishes. But the catch is, is that three people close to you will die. Waste the wishes bringing them back or ignore it and let your wildest fantasies come to life. Uh, hmm. Just trying to think here. Would I really want three wishes? But have three people close to me die? Mm. Huh. Well, this person right here makes a good point. Uh, just use one wish to bring them all back. That's a good point. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely pressing that button. Ooh, 55% say yes and 45% say no. Huh. Very uh, interesting. All right, let's move on to the next one. You obtain the ability to travel through time, but you can never go back or to one plus minus 100 years from when you first departed. So basically, I'd either go back to 1920 or go back to the year 20 or go forward to the year 2120. Hmm. 
Huh. Just trying to think. You obtain the ability to travel through time. So basically, I can go forward and back 99 years, is what this thing's trying to say, but I can't go back past 100. And it's also not clear if you can do 101 and beyond. But I'm not really sure if I want to travel through time, so no, I don't think so. All right, 59% actually would travel through time and 41 would not. Huh. Interesting. You can have anything you desire, but you have to put it together yourself with no instructions. Hmm. Kind of sounds like, uh, well, it sounds, according to this user here, uh, I desire Lego. Yeah, that's what uh, Legos were made for, you know, to use your imagination. But to have anything I can desire, uh, I have to put it together myself with no instructions. Hmm. No. I'm not, I'm just not that kind of person, you know. Anyways, 69% uh, of the population said yes. They would press the button and 31 would say no. You've become a hermaphrodite having the fun bits of both genders and you're attractive enough to have sex with nearly anyone you want. But every time you have sex, you must produce a child. If you father the child, you must pay child support. Contraceptives, no matter how effective, always fail. You can never be rendered infertile and a condition prevents you from getting abortions. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, come, uh, hermaphrodite? Uh, no thanks. Wow. Now oh, this one was a, uh, this one's a majority here. 74% said no. But 26 would say yes. Huh. Well, to each their own. Anyways, let's move on here. You have the ability to forget a moment of choice, but you forget a random close friend. Uh, hmm. Not real sure about this one. Um, let's see, I had a lot of close friends when I was in uh, college, and I really don't want to forget any of them. Here, so you know what? No. All right. All right, halfway there. So 72% say no and 28% say yes. All right, let's uh, move on to the next one. You can press the button without suffering the downside, but you have to live the rest of your life as a cartoon hand. Hmm. You can press the button without suffering the downside, but you have to live the rest of your life as a cartoon hand. Eh, no thanks. Oh, this is another close one. Almost 50-50, but 51% say yes, and 49% say no. All right, anyways, let's uh, move on. You get to live in the Pokemon universe and be the master of all the legendary Pokemon, but every day you are forced to murder a Pikachu. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, the idea of being the master of all legendary Pokemon sounds like a good idea, but to murder a Pikachu? I mean, I'll be honest here, though. I'm not one for Pokemon anymore. I mean, back when it came out 20-some years ago, it was a huge thing. But nowadays here, I'll be honest, Pokemon has pretty much gotten out of hand. So for that, I'm going to say, eh, no thanks. All right, once again, another almost split vote, except uh, 1% or 51% of the people said yes. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, let's move on here. You're able to quit smoking, but the price of every product in stores increases 15%. Hmm. Yeah, I don't smoke, so... Yeah, I don't smoke e anyways, so yeah. So yeah. I've pressed the button. So 26% say yes, and 74% say no. So yeah, I don't see any... Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't smoke anyway, so I don't see the point here. You are a superhuman immune to disease and can regrow limbs, but you are the most disgusting looking thing on the face of the earth. Huh. Yeah, this person makes a good point. Sounds like D it is Deadpool, pretty much. Um. Let's see here. Of course, another thing is that, uh, regrow limbs. Yeah, certain, a, uh, certain amphibian colon axolotl has the ability to do that. So, you know what? And I really don't care from the disgusting looking thing. I'm gonna. I'd rather just do it anyways. 
Hey, I'll take good looks over, uh, hey, I'll take losing my good looks over, uh, being able to be immune to disease and regrow limbs. Sorry about that. Any day. All right. All right. I could do anything I want, but you can only live for one more year. Hmm. Uh, not, uh, being a, not being a grammar general or anything, but, uh, you can live for more one years. I think that's supposed to be interpreted as a, you can only live for one more year, but do anything I want? Why not? You know, as the old saying goes, you might as well make the best of it because within a year you'll be dead. All right, just five more to go. You can make out with the person of your choice, but shortly afterwards, they will vomit on your shoes. Uh, I don't know. You can make out with the person of your choice, but shortly afterwards, they will vomit on your shoes. I don't know. I mean, the idea of having somebody vomit afterwards here. Eh. Eh, no thank you. I mean, 57% say yes and 43% say no. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't want anybody vomiting on me anyway, so there you go. Turn anything into anything else of equal mass, but 50% chance it will be highly radioactive. What? Turn anything into anything else of equal mass, but 50% chance it will be highly radioactive. So if I were to, uh... So if I were to take a pen and then transform it into, say, maybe a sword, there's a 50% chance it'll be highly radioactive. Yeah, who ever heard of a radioactive sword? Unless the sword is made out of uranium or something, but that's not the uh, issue here. So, no thanks. I don't want to manipulate the uh, physical nature of anything anyways. All right, just a few more to go. You become the dictator of Earth and expand to the universe, but you must eat cereal once a month to stay in power, and cereal becomes available to everyone but you, so you must go incognito to receive cereal. Yeah, this person makes a good point here. If I was the dictator, they would bring, yeah, my loyal subjects would bring cereal to me. So, yeah, I failed to see the point of going incognito. But you know what? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna press the button. Wow. 75% say yes, 25% say no. Huh. Interesting, to say the least. Um, let's move on to the next one here. Right. Every bit of text in, on the internet will be grammatically correct, but you only have access to web pages for three hours a day. Hmm. Huh. Every bit of text on the internet will be grammatically correct, but you only have access to web pages for three hours a day. Who spends more than three hours, let alone one, on one web page? Hmm? Unless this means you can only browse the internet for three hours a day. Um. I mean, this type typos are one thing. Right? I mean, if someone accidentally misspells a word, yeah, I'll let it slide. But if they did misspellings on purpose just to be hilarious, eh, I don't know. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna take a pass on this one. All right, 33% say yes and 67% say no. So seems like one out of three people would say yes and two out of three people would say no. All right, last one here. You can get anything right as you wanted, but you aren't allowed to do your three most favorite activities. If you start to like new ones, you are not allowed to do them. Um, huh. I can get anything right as you want it. I'm not real sure about this one. But, but, nah, I'm not gonna waste my time. Okay, 31% say yes and 69% say no. Huh. That's uh, interesting to say the least. Um, all right, those are the 20 right there. Um, let me know what you guys think as far as your opinions go. Um, comment on the section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see everyone next time.